Hello everyone, as you can see here, we got today is our Aspire One Cloud Book 14. And somehow it says there is no bootable device, I mean, there is no system. So I'm going to show you how to resolve the issue, okay? So first, what you need is, obviously we need whatever you want to put it on. The bootable disk. At this point, I go Windows 10 Pro 64B. So I will try to reinstall it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to connect the USB, turn it off. Again, I'm going to turn it on, press F2. Check. Alright, so once we pressing on F2, then the bio screen will come up okay we're gonna go to next which is main f tool is enabled that's fine everything is fine here then on the security also fine let's go to boot option okay as you can see this is the one when it comes up it's always EVFI okay so remember always try to put it on legacy all right once you put it on legacy then the boot priority order from boot priority order what are you gonna do because of I'm using USB bootable drive I'm gonna take the USB HDD on the top as you can see here so if you have external DVD what are you gonna do you're gonna take the USB CD-ROM to the top number one and how are you gonna do that as you can see here that says if you press F6 the value would be changed so example let me show you I'm gonna press F6 let's say I wanna reinstall the system from USB CD-ROM so let's say I want to take this up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to first highlight it by pressing the arrow. Okay. So I want to take this one up, press F6. As you can see, it's going changing the number. Okay. But at this point, I need USB HDD, which is that one. F6, number one. Now I'm going to press F10 to save the changes. And the system will boot up from that one so let's press F10 say yes and see what happened okay that's not a problem it didn't start so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna press F2 to get into the boot menu straight away Yeah. So if 3.0 doesn't work, change the USB 2.0. Now I'm going to turn it off. Turn it on back again. See if there is any changes by pressing F12. Yeah. You can see. So sometimes if you see your USB bootable USB drive doesn't show on the list of the boot option you must need to change it because there is might be a communication problem because in left hand side they put 3.0 3.0 USB port and here is 2.0 for some reason 3.0 is not working okay so now if I hit enter the system should be load from here as you can see here now Windows logo okay so that's how you change your boot option for ASR Aspire 1 Cloudbook 14. Okay, I hope if you have same problem, then you can resolve it in the same procedure. So guys, if you like the video, please thumbs up. And if you do subscription, that would be really helpful. Thank you so much and bye for now.